Hi everyone, I'm Patricio Guerra and today I'm going to show you how I did this illustration. Um, the idea is to have something like a man from the caves or a spirit from the forest with the shape of a human. Uh, the style that we are trying to aim is not very exactly like Honestly, I'm just drawing like a comic uh, style. Not realistic and not exactly cartoony, very stylized either. Um, the technique that in this case I'm trying to replicate is like if we are using a scraper board. In the scraper board, you start with a solid black and with a tool like a needle something with a pointy edge uh, what you do is you scrape the, the surface to produce the details that you want it's uh, like painting or like creating the image with light and in this process what you do is you start revealing what is behind but because we are using the computer we are going to have this as a reference while we are going to use some of the functionalities of Photoshop to have a similar effect while we arrange or we alter the process according to our needs. Um, the concept for this illustration is to have, as I was telling you, um, a man from a cave or a spirit from the forest that is taking care of nature or guiding the animal, something like that. And in order to do that, I decided to uh, have a human that is holding a fruit. It can be any fruit, it doesn't really matter what fruit. It can be a pineapple, can be a watermelon, anything. And to reinforce this concept for being a wild person or a wild man living in the in the forest I use the horns of an animal I don't remember the name of the animal um, but you'll recognize him later for doing this we start or I started uh, with the sketch trying to find a good position something that I think is interesting or appealing and at the same time uh, paying attention to proportions so we don't have strange things uh, in the drawing uh, at the moment we are doing this uh, with a pen uh, well of course it's in the computer but something similar to a pen it's not exactly uh, a brush or something like that it's more like a pen um, we are going to use this sketch till a certain point. We are not going to do this uh, entirely like the other ones. It's not like we're going to do a sketch and then we'll ink it and then we're going to put color and shadows. The process in here is a bit different. Uh, we are doing the sketch as a reference. But later on, the process that we're going to follow is we are going to fill with black all the all the body of this uh, character, and then, based on the sketch, we are going to start erasing that black to create um, all the information. It's like if you are going to draw or paint the light of this uh, illustration. So as you can see now we have more or less defined the body of the character and we are going to start doing these horns. The idea is like if he is using the body uh, or the corpse of another animal or part of the corpse of another animal, especially the horns and the skin. Oh, I remember, the name is a deer. <laughs> The name of the animal is a deer. Um, 
we are following the same idea uh, we are uh, designing how is going to be all these horns of course I'm using reference from this uh, I'm not good enough to work entirely from my imagination and I recommend to all of you to use a reference not to copy them not to trace them just have them as a guide you can have all the reference that you want as long as you decide and take the information that you need and you put it in your own way uh, with your own voice and deciding how to do it it's all good mm, nobody is start um, knowing or understanding or having a visual uh, gallery for everything if you want to do something good and something that is not a cliche you need to have a good reference for everything that is important in your Okay, we have the sketch almost finished. Uh, we are tracing the, putting the shadows to have an idea how it's going to be the lining of this uh, illustration, this scene. And then we are going to start filling everything with black. I like to use this uh, magnet lasso tool. I don't remember the name of the, the tool on Photoshop, but the idea is that is the lasso tool that has a magnet. And if you have an illustration or a sketch that has a lot of contrast between the white and the lines, uh, you can use this, and this will uh, speed up your process. Later on, of course, you have to clean a little bit. Uh, that's always the same thing. Never is never is perfect especially if the sketch is a bit messy but uh, this will help you to put a lot of um, information very quickly now that we have the the black the solid black we are going to start uh, drawing the light or creating the all the information by uh, this technique that is is like we are using uh, cross catching and hatching all over the place especially in the parts where the light touches and that as a result is going to give us the illustration of course you have to pay attention so you don't go to the places where you should maintain or keep the shadows As you can see, you start looking some of the details little by little. Um, this is a long process. It's going to take a while, but the process is very simple. Uh, where is light? Try to do an, uh, a cross hatching or hatching to reveal that light. And if you have some lines, the lines uh, you can put them as a white line or you can have them as a remaining of what is left from the black as you can see this is a starting to show little by little the different elements sometimes it's a bit difficult because um, you're not actually drawing the lines uh, it's more like you're filling in the like, like I said the parts where uh, there is light in the illustration but uh, every time that you go with this and you go in deep in details and reinforcing the light you'll see how the image is going to start popping out from the black solid This could be a good idea to have as um, something that can be used uh, for the branding of a beer company. I don't know. Just illustrations that uh, that I've been doing um, with this purpose. In this case, this exercise was like that. Uh, 
I, I thought that for this case would be very nice if we had a background but uh, something like it's particular uh, something that is specific to this not a very detailed background it's more like if you have dust uh, or leaves at the back um, floating in that will reinforce the idea of this character and another thing that is missing and we are going to include that later is that the character is going to have a, something like a cape or the rest of the skin of, of the deer that is using he, that he is using to cover his body for the night and it's very uh, cold as you can see we are going more on the details on the uh, lights and you can pretty much see the whole body right now all the elements we are just reinforcing the same things that we have already placed the face looks still a bit dark that is something that we need to work on to get more contrast try to maintain the shadows that you did at the beginning that is what I'm doing right now you can see pretty much the whole illustration right now it's not a cute render it's something that is meant to look rustic or uh, a bit rude and I'm not trying to get a perfect detail in here it's more of the feeling that you want to transmit that in my case is like he's a man from the caves uh, like the spirit of the trees or the forest something like that as you can see right now I'm trying to get uh, some subtle variations of tone or value and we keep working on the background I'm erasing with some brushes that have some kind of texture to produce a random result that's why I also started with that uh, texture that was as a sketch and now we are placing the final illustration uh, the final highlights Sometimes it feels like we destroyed a lot of the things that we did at the beginning, but it's part of the process. Right now you can appreciate better the lining of this painting. Uh, now that I'm looking again, probably I went too far in the highlights in the stomach. Uh, probably that is not uh, helping me as much as I I thought it was going to um, yeah definitely the highlights in the stomach as are very bright um, now we have the cape this is what was missing and we are going to have a few more details to include Remember that you can check my social media and find me on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Well guys, this is pretty much the illustration. I hope you like it. And if you want to see more of this process, these narrated videos, please check my Patreon account. Uh, you can support me in there. If you want to get merch with my art on it, please visit my Redbubble shop. And remember that you can have high quality prints uh, on ArtStation too. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon in the next one.